just so many people impacted by yeah, this. You so don't many. think about those things. But, yeah. uh, you know, hard to believe it was one week ago today that we were sharing the devastating news about the collapse of the Key Bridge, where we would later learn six construction workers lost their lives that day and the Port of Baltimore indefinitely closed to all vessels. Yeah, meanwhile, state leaders are warning us that the road to recovery is going to be a long one with engineers already running into complications with removing parts of the bridge. WMR2 News' Kara Burnett is live at MDTA Police Headquarters with the very latest. Kara, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you guys. Now, a week later, there are still just so many moving parts on this. Crews are working around the clock to continue to clear the wreckage from the Key Bridge, all while trying to reopen the port to get shipping traffic in and out of the port, as well as continuing for those recovery teams and divers to continue looking for those four missing victims. Now, the tugboat Crystal uh, coast was the first vessel to move through the newly opened temporary channel. It allows for essential vessels to travel in and out of the port. Now, the Port of Baltimore is one of the country's busiest commercial shipping hubs, handling around 52 million tons of cargo, totaling close to $80 million in U.S. trade. Now, officials are looking to open a second channel on the other side of the bridge, which would really allow for larger ships to get by. But teams have a daunting task ahead of them. Three to 4,000 tons of steel still have to get off the dolly and clear the rest of the debris and wreckage. Now to give you a better idea on how extensive this recovery process is, crews were able to cut and lift a 200 ton span of the bridge, but Unified Command described it as only a small task and what's to come. And now Governor Moore just really spoke about how complex these conditions and are in the recovery teams and what they're facing ahead in the stormy weather really complicating these efforts. A priority for officials is to provide closure for the families of the four missing victims who have yet to be recovered. And just another aspect of this recovery process is all the port workers who are impacted by this, and that's 8,000 jobs. And now looking ahead to later this week, President Biden is expected to visit this area. Megan Randall, back to you guys. All right, thank you, Kara. And you can find all of our coverage of the disaster at the bridge by going to wmr2news.com slash keybridgecollapse.